Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. So uh, today's video is going to be about how to create pin button templates to be able to make your pin buttons or uh, badges or whatever, you know, whatever you guys make. Um, you know, it doesn't anything for craft items. It doesn't necessarily have to be buttons, but you can get perfect, uh, perfectly round buttons or round shapes with uh, images in them. So I'll show you how I do it for my pin buttons. So uh, first, let's go to Photoshop. Usually, I just resize and create my designs in Photoshop. And um, you don't have to use Photoshop. You can use other software. So first, um, I'm going to go to my images here. I'm actually doing a collection of um, like 90s style like years. So people can actually pick the years that they want. And, and I actually did all of them. I did all the 80s, all the 90s. And that's I'll probably just do that. I won't probably go to the 2000s. Um, so they're kind of like Martin theme, kind of like 90s inspired. So I'm going to go to this image. I'm going to use, actually, no, I'm not going to use 19. Yeah, do I want to use 1999? No, I won't use 1999. But so this is your image here. You go to image. Um, I like to go to image size. And usually I try to keep the size between two to four inches. Um, and that should work for, you know, all your buttons, even the one inch ones, because I'm doing one inch buttons. I want to show show you guys that. And I like to keep the resolution at 300. And I typically do that for like all all my images, even my T-shirt designs. I like to keep it at 300 resolution. Of course, the size is different, but and you just hit OK. And then you want to save your design, save as. And I'm not going to save it because I already have it saved, obviously, into my um, computer. So once you save your image, you want to head over to um, your computer to uh, buttonmakers.net. And uh, this is uh, typically the template, the website that I use to design all my buttons, no matter what size they are. You can come here where it says select size and they have one inch, one and a quarter. They have two inches. It goes all the way up to six inches. They also have rectangular shapes. And they have oval shapes. So, you know, it just depends on um, if you're making buttons, you know, what type of machine you have. Uh, right now, I have the one inch button machine and I also have a two and a quarter inch button machine. So all my buttons are always like one inch or two and a quarter inch. So today uh, for our project, I'm going to do one inch and I'm going to. So the website is a little bit glitchy. It's a little bit slow. Like I don't know why, but. I, it's the middle of the night as well, so I know they have they do a lot of updates during. Oh man, I don't know what I just did during the night. So, um, so I'm gonna come down at the bottom bar here. We're gonna click unclick all the stuff lit up in green because we don't need that. It basically, takes away everything off the button, so it's just plain. So we can do what we want with it. So I'm not gonna change the color yet of the button. I'm just going to upload my image first to see what I'm working with. So I'm going to do, so you just hit upload image and you're, you can pick whatever folder yours is in. Mine's is under buttons. And I'm just going to choose, um, I'm going to do 19, let's do 80, let's do 86 since that's the year I was born. So we're going to open that. And right now it's like huge. So we're going to go to the right side of the screen where it says size. And we're going to move the slider up and down. So we're going to make it smaller. So it'll fit right in the center. And you can move it around. Oh, I also forgot to mention, um, depending on your design, let's hold on. Let's go back to Photoshop really quickly. Make sure you have, you know, you make it translucent. Anything, make the background translucent whatever you don't want to show and i mean that's typically for any kind of designs you do or whatever you don't want to show you make sure you make it trans you know translucent or whatever and you can just do that i'm, I'm not doing a, 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 a tutorial on you on a, about photoshop but um you know but you get the gist if basically if you know how to work photoshop and stuff like that you should be okay so so here i'm going to put it right in the middle and so once that's done, I'm going to click on the yellow space of the button 
And the fun thing about this uh, software is you can do some really cool colors. So say if I just don't want it want yellow, say if I want to do, they have um, patterns that you can pick from and you can also pick gradient. I do gradient a lot because it's just, it's really cool how like it comes out. So sometimes I'll do like blue and then red. So it kind of has like this purple look. And you can come down here to gradient and you can move the slider up and down and you can, you know, have it more like reddish or like a dark purple or make it all blue or kind of like violet looking. And um, they have the option for radial and linear. Right now it's radial. So it's kind of like just kind of like rounded in the middle. But I also like linear because it's like up and down. So you can kind of slide it and. You know, you can do it halfway, you know, half red, half blue and purple kind of in the middle. It's kind of like that ombre kind of like look. So like I like that. So see if you want to keep it, see if you want to keep it like that. Then um, once you have it the way you want it, then you come over to here. You hit save this button. Yes. Okay, so my button saved. So then you want to go up here where it says all your buttons. You want to click that. And that'll take you to all the buttons you recently just did. And let's see, hopefully it's not going to be slow. Okay, so. So all my buttons that I've been doing are here. And what I'm going to do is, so basically, whichever one you click, it's going to turn yellow. So say if I just click the last one. And uh, if you come down to the bottom here, it has two options. I really only use these two here. And this first one just um, pretty much is just, it makes a, a print sheet with the buttons on it. So pretty much one sheet will have all this style button on it. Yeah, so let's, let me show you that one first. Let's click here. And it basically creates a PDF for you. So basically the whole entire sheet is filled up with one inch buttons of this design. So this is basically how I do it. And what I do is I download it to my computer or you can print it out at, at your printer. I usually just download it and save it. I usually just download it and save it to my files. And because usually I don't always print my buttons at home on my printer. Sometimes I'll send them to... Um, a printing company to print them for me because they they're I don't know for some reason I like the way that it it the the it it comes out on their printer like it's vibrant it's like really really nice and when I print out at home on like regular copy of paper it's just it's the, it's not as good so um typically I'll send mine out to get printed for me and they mail it to me so and I just I'll just rename it like you know circa that's what I've been calling it so circa 1986 but i'm not going to save it because i already have 1986 in here yep so this is the one inch button sheet of the 1986 buttons so um <clears throat> so if we go over to this one this one's cool too because say if you don't want a full sheet full of the same design you know so like say if you have a client and they only want like a certain amount of one thing you don't want to make a whole bunch of the same thing at once so if you click here, you can print multiple, um, you can create multiple uh, buttons on one sheet. So say if I want that there, it may take a while to pop up because it's a little glitchy right now. So you can kind of place everything where you want it to go. You know, say if you want like, say if I move this one right, oops, oops, come on, what's going on here? Well, say if I want like a full row of like 1986 or whatever, all the way. I mean, you don't have to fill in every everything, but you can kind of just put stuff wherever you want it. And then you can hit at the bottom, print sheet, or create sheet. And then it'll give you the PDF of how you placed everything. Oh, finally, okay. So these are all one-inch buttons, but they're different, you know, different kinds. So 
but it's really cool. I like the definitely like that gr that gradient look to it. It's really different. And this one is also gradient, but it's the radial one. So you can see kind of like the blue, the light blue in the middle, and then the outside is green. You know, so it, it comes out, it's really, really nice. They have really nice design features that you can use. So that's it guys so if you have any uh questions or concerns you can uh um leave them in the comments i'll try to answer what i can and well, here's the the button sheets i was telling you about um i get another company to print mine out for me just because it's easier and they come out much better than me printing them out so i'm not sure exactly what kind of paper this is um but i have to double check when i go to their website but it's like extra extra vibrant 10 times better than how i can get it on my printer um so these are the two and a quarter inch sheets and this is how they come in sheets and they're fairly cheap i can't remember the price i think i think they had some kind of deal going on when i got this batch um i think it was like eight cents or something like that per sheet um and i just had to pay for shipping this shipping is kind of expensive it's it's like 14 dollars or something like that but ultimately it's still not that ex you know extremely expensive so these are some of the sheets i haven't cut these out yet but they come out really 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 well and they just ship them in like this little it's like a gift box like a christmas gift box or something so i ordered like tons and tons and tons like over 50 50 designs so yep so that is it yeah and i'll also leave all the links below if you guys forgot you know what website it is and everything like that so thank you see y'all next time